wondered what mathematics is needed to become an expert in machine learning? Here's another video by the Machine Learning and AI Academy dedicated just for that. Let's get started! Four fields of mathematics combine in machine learning. These include probability and statistics for error function design, calculus and linear algebra for model representation, and optimization for finding best models. Wondering why? Let's illustrate. Here's a typical machine learning workflow. Starting from data, we design algorithms and models that can make predictions. Errors from these predictions are fed back to refine and update the model. This process repeats until low prediction errors are achieved. Hold on, let's see an example of that. Take regression for instance. From our introductory video, regression was a subclass of supervised machine learning, allowing us to make real-valued predictions. Given a data set of input-output pairs, our goal is to find a model that makes good predictions. But what does that really mean? In reality, we look for a function f that maps input x, i.e. house sizes, to outputs y or house prices. Since we don't know this function up front, we parameterize a model or function class by unknown free parameters and look for the best set of parameters that minimize some notion of error. Examples of f theta include polynomials, e.g. linear ax plus b with theta equals a and b, quadratic ax squared plus bx plus c with theta being a, b and c, or deep neural networks with theta being the layer weights. Deep networks, however, are a topic for another video. For now, let's focus on the error function. Select a model. We need to determine correct values of a free parameter theta. Remember these a's and b's? Measuring prediction accuracy, we define a notion of error between the model's output using current thetas and the real ones from our training data set. Of course, our goal is to reduce such an error by correctly tuning theta. What error function to use? It's common in regression to use average sum of squared errors. Intuitively, sum of squared errors measure the distance between model predictions and real outputs, and then attempt to minimize the average distance across all data points. But why squared errors, not errors to the power 3 or 10? Probably, you have some intuition. Maybe we square them so that when we sum negatives and positives, errors don't cancel out. Right, well, that's not the real reason. Oh, I'm sorry, did I break your concentration? The real reason is probability theory. Yeah, yeah, probability theory. Why probability theory? Well, data collection is never perfect. As we only considered house size as inputs, the same house size can have different prices based on location. Therefore, price equals f of size plus something random or a random variable. Let's see how. As epsilon is a random variable, so is the price. Therefore, it follows a probability density. The goal is to find a theta value that maximizes the likelihood of getting our outputs given inputs, i.e. max p of price 1 to price n given size 1 to size n. Dealing with this equation is difficult. To make it easier, we impose a simplifying assumption stating that data is identically independently distributed or IID. This allows us to factorize P of a price 1 to price n given size 1 to size n as the product of P of a price i given size i. Here, we need to maximize the product or maximize log product. This gives us max summation i equals 1 to n log of p of a price i given size i. Choosing Gaussian density for epsilon, we can show that max likelihood is equivalent to sum of squares. That's why second power makes sense. Of course, to maximize for parameters, we need optimization. As you see, we use all four fields in regression linear algebra and calculus for model representation, probability theory for error function definition, and optimization to find best parameters. Now you know what math fields are needed for machine learning. Can you see these in classification as well? Write your answers in the comments below. Probability theory can be difficult, but don't worry, we are preparing a course just for you. See you soon! And hey, don't forget to like and subscribe.